Hello, sir. Myself, Vinay Vundavalli. Uh, I am here with my team, Tanmay Preeti and uh, Pratiksha. We are here to present a PPT on a topic called Telecommunication System. Why Telecommunication System? Telecommunication System allows the businesses to use advanced communication methods for everyone from employees to customers. Using telecommunication service, your business has the necessary infrastructure and tools to transmit data digitally. Introduction. Telecommunication are the means of electronic transmission of information over a distance. The information may be in the form of voice, telephone calls, data, text, images, or video. Today, telecommunication are the use uh, used to organize more or less remote computer system into telecommunication network. There are several goals and objectives to set up a telecommunication system, which can include, uh, it will increase the uh, communication efficiency. It aims to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of communication process. Uh, the, it is also aiming to reach the connectivity and uh, uh, remote areas in several uh, geographical regions and supporting collaboration and productivity. Uh, it focuses on increasing product productivity and collaboration of several uh, different components. Uh, the main focus of this is one, uh, this one is to have a cust uh, better customer experience. It focuses on delivering improved customer experience by offering seamless and responsive communication channels. It ensures security and privacy by encryption of the messages uh, to the end user. Uh, before setting up of any system, we need to check the feasibility of that system. This can include the technical feasibility, economic feasibility, operational feasibility, legal and regulatory feasibility, and environmental and social feasibilities. So coming to the project team and the roles of the individuals. So uh, of the first one is project manager. Uh, the entire project, including planning, execution, and monitoring, and developing the uh, and he and the project manager develops the project timelines and set the goals to ensure timely completion. So second one is business analysis. So it gathers and analyzes business requirements for the telecommunication system. And it also conducts the feasibility studies, identifies the potential system improvements. So telecommunication engineer or architect, um, this person designs and plans the technical aspects of the telecommunication systems. And he also determines the network architecture, hardware, and software requirements, evaluates different technologies, and also selects the appropriate ones for the project. And, ensure, and also ensures the system uh, meets performance and security and scalability uh, uh, standards. Next slide. And network administrator, uh, this person con configures and ma manages the network infrastructure required for the telecommunication system. Also installs and maintains the network requirements such as routers, uh, switches, and firewalls. This, and the software developer or programmer, so this, uh, this person develops or customizes the uh, software application for the telecommunication system, implements the system features in uh, interfaces and integrations. So quality assurance or test engineer, uh, he develops the test plans, test cases, and also perform the test activities. Next. The planning phases. Uh... Define project goals and objectives, conduct need assessment, develop a project plan, plan budget and resources, perform technical assessment, uh, develop system requirements and uh, specifications, engage uh, stakeholders and obtain approvals, risk management and mitigation. Uh, before setting up the system, we, we have several material requirements uh, to develop the system. They include networking infrastructures, which include routers, switches, modems, cables and connectors, and wireless, wireless access points. 
uh, servers and data centers include uh, server hardware, data storage, backup systems, and cooling systems. Telephone equipment might include uh, IP phones, private branch exchange systems, VoIP gateways. Communication devices, as known, include uh, mobile phones, two-way radios, and video conferencing equipment. Power and backup systems are required to generate uh, power for the system. Power for the system, which include uh, uninterruptible power supply, power distribution units, and power generators. Security systems are required for the encryption of data, which include firewalls, uh, intrusion detection and prevention systems, security cameras. Testing and measurement equipments are uh, uh, required for uh, testing of the equipment, which include network analyzers, cable testers, spectrum analyzers. Installation and mounting materials have uh, racket cabinets, cable, cable management, and mounting hardware. So coming to the conclusion, by implementing a well-planned and efficient, efficient te uh, telecommunication system, and organizing uh, an, an enhanced communication increases the connectivity and improve the productivity and also leading to an enhanced customer experience and better business outcomes as we continue to uh, as we continue for technology uh, ad advancements the improvement of robust and reliable uh, telecommunication systems will, will only grow it is it is imperative for organizations to stay ahead by uh, uh, the power of communication and connectivity. Next. Uh, these are the references we have gone through to set up the system that we have been choosing. 